Hello, hello, hello. Today we're going to look at a phone from 2013. Yep, I don't know what it is. I must be on a retro tip. I must be, I don't know, want to travel back in time. But yep, this is the LG uh, Nexus 5. Now, um, I'll go over the spec with it because it's quite important. This is a 2013 phone, okay, um, which, and I got this one on eBay. It was about $60, um, and it's still a excellent phone. So, what are the specs? Okay, well, it's got a 4.95-inch full, boom, 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 full HD screen. It has a, a 2.3 uh, gigahertz processor. It's 2 GB of RAM, it has a 8 megapixel um, camera which has optical image stabilization, excellent. Um, the battery is uh, 2300 mAh. Now, um, it is, I just wanted to double check, yeah, it was a Qualcomm quad core 2.3 and it has an Adreno 330 GPU. Um, and uh, another great thing that this thing has is NFC. So really, this uh, spec uh, today is still pretty good. Now, um, anybody who's interested in phones probably will realize, certainly if you're looking at buying phones on a budget, this uh, screen's a wee bit dirty, uh, that I think now this phones have kind of reached a plateau where, it, you know, they've, uh, even budget phones, if you look at some of the phones that I've reviewed recently, um, they have kind of reached a plateau. Now, you can do these Antutu benchmark scores, whatever, and you can get over 100,000, blah, blah, but during your daily use, for the most part, uh, if you looked at the the Ucatel or even the Inju Pro 2, and the Inju Pro 2 is similar to the new Umi E Extreme or Umi E Plus, it's called, I think. Um, really, for everybody and for daily use, uh, uh, these phones are, are, you know, excellent. And uh, so, you know, no matter how much RAM, and the Inju Pro had uh, 6 GB of RAM or the processor, uh, I, I really think um, they've kind of reached a plateau. So. Why did I bother buying this for $60 and why am I doing a review of it? Well, you know, I think it's still a relevant, relevant phone. It's a relatively um, unobtrusive, kind of uh, boring look about it. It's plastic, got that kind of rubbery, um, not as rubbery as its big brother, the Nexus 10 tablet, but it's got this kind of rubbery back. Um, but why is it still relevant? Uh, well, to us um, Android guys, uh, this one we can, and I have done it, uh, root it and uh, install Android uh, 7, which I've just done. Now, um, I had a wee bit of a problem rooting it, so, uh, you know, I, I just googled um, my issues and eventually it was all sorted out, but it took me a while. Uh, and really, what the, the page that I followed the most was the uh, androidpit.com. That's www.androidpit.com. That was the page that I followed the most. And other than the TWRP recovery, I had to in, uh, fla <coughs> excuse me, flash the clockwork, clockwork mod recovery. And then it worked. And then I had no problems. I had downloaded all the the um, the images and all that p p uh, prior. So um, I'm trying to show you here now. This is the kind of look. And I will go to settings just so that I'm uh, showing you that I'm not lying. Oh, hold on. Okay. So can one? Can you see it? Oh, no. <sighs> can you see? Yes, Android. There it is, Android 7 on a 2013 phone. Wow. So, now, um, I'm going to say something. I have uh, my Shield tablet, and if you watch my review, uh, it had an update, um, NVIDIA update for Android 7. Now, I had my, uh, in the Shield tablet, I had a 32GB 
SD card and I'd set it to be part of the um, the tablet's internal memory and when the upgrade came I downloaded it and just uh, tapped install blah blah anyway what happened was that SD card got corrupted and I couldn't use it so if anybody's thinking about you know uh, doing that then remove your SD card I would say unless you want to buy a new one and don't get caught out like me um, now uh, the LG Nexus 5, they only came with uh, the only downside to these phones, they came 1632 GB and of course the only downside like the Samsung Nexus 10 uh, tablets is that you do not have an SD card slot which is a bit of a shame but well anyway this was $60 but that was um, that I would say is the only downside so uh, the screen on this is excellent I mean this is uh, just under 5 inches they call it true HD IPS screen or something and it is excellent let me just check the uh, brightness well the brightness here is on about um, half just over half and it's uh, a really really nice um, uh, screen um, the the rest of the phone feels quite cheap, but you know uh, that's fine. It was sixty dollars. You know this is a 2013 phone, um, sixty dollars. But this will do me as a second phone and an emergency phone, etc. And also as a phone that has Android seven. And no doubt one will be able to uh, keep upgrading this. I hope. Um, uh, as uh, time goes on now the name of the uh, let me just get this right the is oh my god I can't even say that can you see it there Euclidean OS okay that's the version that I've installed um, this, uh, um, I got this online so you know no problem now I'm just going to check here for any system updates and it is saying that my system is updated uh, as of uh, today so now this is a 2013 phone running Android uh, 7 now the great thing about this phone with the camera is uh, really good for um, it's only an 8 megapixel camera but you know don't get fooled by the megapixels really about that it's about the image sensor and the amount of light etc etc so uh, really 8 megapixels so if you're not blowing your um, photos up to any more than normal photo size then most people are not going to notice much of a difference um, has the OIS or the optical image stabilization which is it, for people with shaky hands obviously is going to make a um, you know a really will help uh, the, I put this quick reboot uh, program on. Not sure that if it's any good or not, but I'm going to, you know, keep it and let's see if it's uh, of any use. I will download some of my normal programs, my uh, power amp for some music, and the usual Facebook, Instagram, and stuff like that. I just haven't even signed into this uh, yet, which I might do now. Um, and uh, it's looking nice. I just think that you know um, we might be uh, focusing too much on uh, all this new stuff and we're, we're kind of missing out on stuff that you can get a real bargain now on uh, uh, eBay uh, probably eBay Amazon and like for the likes of me I like new stuff of course I do but uh, it's nice to you know have a, a kind of one phone that you can use as your kind of backup and this is what I will use this for. So I'm going to just set up my uh, uh, Gmail. Um, and it's nice to see Android because uh, Android 7, because no doubt um, I will on the I'm using the Inju Pro 2 at the moment, and no doubt I will um, probably not see. It says it's running Android 6, but I, I'm not. I, whether I keep it long enough to see Android 7, I don't know. Um, so, 
It's uh, quite interesting to see how uh, Nougat or Nougat is uh, running and it looks nice. I mean it's nice and clean interface. Uh, so, you know, I'll, I'll just have to fiddle around with it and have a uh, see see how I go with it. But for the most part, it's, it's uh, you know, it's Android. So it's not going to be massive big difference uh, to what we're uh, kind of uh, used to. Uh, let's see, learn more, blah blah, back up to Google Drive, do it later in settings, okay. Well there you go, There's, that's me signed into my Gmail now, relatively painless. So, yeah, I mean this is not a, a very long um, review, I just wanted to kind of show you that um, I found, and I'm not particularly computer, uh, okay look, I'm, I'm not I'm a wee bit computer literate. I, I, I've kind of learnt things over the years, but uh, by following the uh, the guide that was on that AndroidPit.com, and there's many other ones, it is not that difficult. You just have to make sure you have the certain things downloaded prior to you know trying to root it and flash uh, the 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 new ROM. You have to have the ROM obviously and stuff like that so uh, uh, really if if you have if you're prepared uh, pre-prepared you have everything downloaded then you follow the um, the the guides it's, you know don't be afraid of the command prompt is relatively simple um, to to operate and you know what's the worst that could happen well I suppose you could brick it dying dying um, but you know, it would only probably be a soft brick and you could probably get it back into, uh, you know, working back to its whatever stock ROM it was on. So, uh, it's well worth uh, anybody to, you know, uh, $60 and to fiddle around if you want something, you know, if you want to try routing and flashing, it's definitely worthwhile uh, phone to invest in and you might even get it even cheaper than I paid for this one uh, um, and if it gets broken then well you haven't lost too much money but I doubt you'll break it so I mean that was really all I wanted to say um, nice wee phone great screen Android 7 and you know you can pick it up very 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 cheaply so you know get online check out eBay <coughs> buy it that's it. Bye.